Hi, welcome back to my mother's channel. Just gonna do a real quick garden update. I know she gave you an update the other day. So, um, I worked in it today, so I'm just gonna show you real quick what we have. So I pulled up a lot of cucumbers. I'm sorry, I picked a lot of cucumbers. Um, I still have a lot of small ones coming in, so I'm hoping we get some more before the end of the season. Usually, I keep the tomatoes, peppers, and zucchini, if I had any, through September. Cucumbers, I think this is actually my best year for cucumbers, despite everything else. So I'll see how long I could keep them. Definitely another week, maybe two. So today I pulled up all the grass again and put down more Epsom salt. I didn't put down anything since about a month ago I put down that organic fertilizer. This tomato plant is on its way out, but I had a few green tomatoes there. I said, I'll see if they do anything. If not, I'll just roast the green ones. The other tomato plants I pulled up. For some reason, my eggplants aren't doing anything. They normally do very well. However, I normally buy the eggplant plants from Stop and Shop. It's a small window when I could get them early in the season, like the end of May, um, however you know what was going on at that time here in this area. So I didn't get to get there often, like normally I would be there twice a week. So I didn't get to get there twice a week to see when they had them. So I just bought them in Lowe's and as you can see, I haven't even gotten one. There was one over here that was making good size and then it dropped to the ground and ended up rotting. But normally they're my best producing plant. Anyway, what can you say about this year, right? These are my chili peppers. We picked a few off of them today. The peppers typically come later, so they're coming in now. I'll pick some green and I'll leave some until they get red. This is what they call a pimento pepper, but it's not the pimento pepper that we're used to. We're used to like, the pimento pepper we're used to actually looks like a large chili or small jalapeno. And they turn red and orange. This one is also what's known as a cherry pepper. They said it's ripe when it turns red, so I'm awaiting to see how that tastes. So how my scallions back there? Have a lot in the refrigerator. I've been cooking with them and using them for seasoning. That's that ghost, what was it? Ghost pepper, I think. They, they're blooming, but I haven't got any fruits from them yet, so I'm waiting to see how that tastes. My jalapenos are coming in. We picked a few of those. I would love to make some jalapeno poppers. This, these are the green bell peppers. I thought I had two of those, but I guess not. I've never had them get really big, but I'm going to try and be patient this year. That's a the pimento again. I think this is another pimento, but nothing's on it yet. More scallions. Next year I'm going to move all the... Probably just designate one spot for scallions, maybe right here. They do very well and we love to cook with them. 
Oh, that's another chili pepper plant, but it comes in different than the other one. As you can see, it looks different, so it's a different type of chili. I've already picked some off of it. These are those old um, patio eggplants. I have been getting those, but just can't do much with them because I can't get a lot of them. Probably need about eight of these plants to really get enough to do something with them. And my herbs, I ended up pulling up the parsley. It wasn't coming back the way I wanted it to. This is um, two different kinds of basil. And I put some romaine lettuce in there. Looks like the DJ stopped playing, sorry. So I'm just using this to supplement my salads. And my mint. As you can see, it's already <laughs> started spreading, but I don't care because I like mint. So a friend of mine told me she put down for the first time this year cardboard, which is to prevent the weeds. And her all of her plants are doing very well. So I'm going to try that next year, and I'll try that um, timed release fertilizer, 555 or 5510 or 1010, 20 or whatever it is. Um, the, uh, when I pull up the garden, then I'll plant the winter ryegrass and turn that over with my soil. I have not yet decided if I'm going to do the compost pile. We'll continue to think about that. But what I am going to try, y'all could let us know what you think about this. I have four of these. I'm going to try to start a fall garden. So from what I think, we have to start that like the end of August or early September to have some fall veggies. So I have to start researching that. I threw away all my flowers and my hanging baskets. I'm not attempting that anymore. So everything that goes in these for the fall and next year in the spring is gonna be all vegetables. And then everything else around the yard will just be um, beautiful decorations. I'm not gonna attempt to do flowers anymore. So we're getting ready for an outdoor movie night and a hibachi um, grill. <laughs> we're gonna grill, um, we're gonna have chicken fajitas on the hibachi. <laughs> Good night, y'all keep coming back.